Alrighty, what's up guys? How's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Not real sure if uh, the audio is okay. Let me know if the audio is alright. What's up, King of Chuck? What's up, Van? How are you? Gavin, how are you, man? What's going on? Thanks for subscribing, Van. Appreciate it, man. That's uh, it's awesome. We're gonna do uh, do a couple things. I, I owe the channel an update. I've been I've been so tied up. I've had a lot of projects going on. I actually have to leave tonight to uh, well later tonight, tomorrow morning really to fly to uh, Florida. Audio's good. That's awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Gotta fly to Florida to do a project. So I'm just getting some stuff ready tonight. Um, was thinking around, you know, I, I saw there's a bunch of new subscribers in the uh, the channel. I put up two hunting videos probably about a week ago. Hunting season's still in full effect here. We got uh, tomorrow, well, tomorrow left for rifle season. And I wanted to get out there. Unfortunately, I had a friend of mine pass away on Monday, Monday or Tuesday, I think, or something, unexpectedly. And that kind of sucks. You know, he was a good good friend of mine, and... Um, had a heart attack in a customer's, one of my customer's parking lots. They couldn't, uh, couldn't revive them. So that's, uh, that's no fun. Got the funeral this, this weekend when I get back. Uh, I was going to probably spend the weekend in Florida, but now I have to come back for that. I want to be there. Just unfortunate and time flies and that kind of, you know, the weather hasn't been the greatest either. Right now it's raining out. It rained all day today, freezing rain this morning. So I really didn't get a chance to get in the woods like I wanted to. I was really hoping to, but things happen. Life happens. There's late season. But I know I got a lot of subscribers from the hunting videos. And, uh, yeah, it does suck, man. Uh, I, got, I got a lot of subscribers from the hunting videos. Probably at least another 50. And I wanted to kind of keep it going. So my, my major goal is to, it's not really a major goal. It's just something I'd like to do is uh, to get to 1,000 subscribers. And I have a couple giveaways I want to do now that the channel has more people on it. So I have one that's kind of related to the camera stuff and, and camera building with the GoPro Hero 7. So I have that here, which is new in the box. I'm going to give away this uh, via the channel. I'm probably going to do it around Christmas or like right around a thousand subscribers. Um, definitely going to use the intro video for now. So if you want to, on my intro video, if you, you know, thumb it up and uh, throw a comment in the, in the intro video, um, question, comment, anything, just, just let me know you're here and watching the channel. I will, uh, I'll pick a, a winner off of that or off the comments on the channel for the, for the GoPro. Like I said, I want to get to a thousand subscribers and then we'll probably do like a live live giveaway i also have another item i'm thinking about giving away which is a little bit more geared towards how the channel started with uh, like ham radio and stuff like that and some of the ham radio videos so i have a yesu ft60 i might do something with that this is new in box box a little bit beat up because it's been bounced around here a little bit and sitting on the shelf, but probably do something with that as well at some point. <clears throat> I think that would be a cool giveaway. And then the GoPro Hero 7, which I, I think for new YouTubers, and I mean, I have a couple of those. I have I think two, and I have two of the GoPro Hero 8s. I have a little Hero 6 sitting here as well. I was going to give away one of the 6s, but I opened the box, and I, I feel like if I'm going to give away something, I want it to be... You know, something that if somebody wants to give it away for a gift to somebody or use it for their channel, it's a good camera just to get started. Really, any camera is good nowadays. You can use a, a phone. Uh, let me give you my address. You can get me that sent out ASAP. Yeah, that's right, Chuck. Yeah, it's Chuck, you, you got all that uh, moldy money in that paper bag in your bag under the bed or something, don't you? You can just go buy one. But I think that it would be really cool for people to to grow and and i thought it would be helpful so i wanted to do that um just been been crazy uh pilot mania what's going on man how are you uh where are you from i'm not sure if i uh 
saw you on the channel before or not. Friday night, I figured I'd, I, I'm supposed to do a couple other things tonight, but the wife is traveling right now. She's actually headed to Florida driving, and uh, I'm going to fly down tomorrow morning and fly back tomorrow night to get back in time for uh, the funeral and stuff like that. It was just, like I said, it's been a crazy week. So I feel I feel bad about not updating the hunting videos and keeping it consistent because it definitely got a little bit of traction and it's fun to get out in the woods. I mean, anytime I was talking to a guy last night who, who left a comment on my channel and he was like, or actually he had a video and he said about uh, just being able to get out in the woods and, and chill out. Whether you see deer or you don't see deer, who cares? Like, it's just fun to do something different and enjoy a little bit of uh, God's creation. But it's definitely pretty cool to have have more people on the channel. Got my motivation up a little bit. I'm always building other people's and, and doing stuff for other other channels. And it'll be fun to uh, get this going. I haven't had a ch chance either, too, to use the uh, GoPro, the new Max 360. I'm going to be using it tomorrow. So I wanted to get it all charged up, the 360 camera. I have the Fusion sitting over there that I'm probably going to sell, which is the first version of the 360 camera from GoPro, and that worked well. I put a couple videos up from that, and I thought this year I would I would do some hunting videos in 360. Like I said, I just haven't had a chance to get into the woods, but this is a, this is a cool camera from what I've set up so far on it. I'm going to make sure all the batteries are charged tonight. I'm going to use that tomorrow. Got um, the GH5s. And the 5S sitting there. I'm going to get those ready. I'm probably only going to take one one main camera tomorrow uh, for this project. Which is pretty much an all day shoot. How do I know the giveaway? You really want the GoPro? Dude, um, all you got to do is like leave a comment on my intro video for now. I was going to do a separate video for it and, and do something for the GoPro. But I think just leaving a comment in the intro video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Th stuff like that. Um, and like I said, my goal is to... to uh, Get to a thousand subscribers, do the giveaway, hopefully in time for the holidays. And um, definitely, if you can, if you, if you do win the GoPro, film film a video with it and send it back to me or something like that, and uh, let me know. Let me know if you're you're enjoying it and whatnot. That was next. Yeah, the 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 cruise. I did the 360 on the cruise. I did some 360 videos hunting last year, uh, riding up the mountain on a quad in 360 and uh, i think one other hunting video in 360 which 360s get a, a a good bit of exposure but really people are watching the videos to see the camera quality there's more channels out there on cameras today and what cameras to use for youtube than anything else and, and really any camera goes but I, I noticed a lot of the views were people checking out the footage from the camera versus really engaging in the 360 content or really caring about the 360 content, at least from what I've noticed. I mean, there's there's definitely times where I would have liked to, to sh shoot in 360, but most of the time I either have my phone or um, just a regular camera with me. I've been shooting a lot uh, of different cameras this year. I mean, from, I actually put that in my about, uh, about description, uh, the EOS M6, the Canon EOS M50, the GH5, the GH5S, the... Um, G7X Mark III, G7X Mark II, bunch of different cameras. GoPro stuff. Uh, the GoPro, actually, the, the latest one, the Hero 8, is a, a pretty good camera. I don't even know where I have that one sitting. It's probably in a, in a case, but that uh, that camera's pretty cool. It uh, works, works really well. Um, it, I mean, if you're just getting started, any camera will work. Make sure you have good audio. I, I'd definitely start with audio. Uh, make sure your audio is good. Will do. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, guys. Just uh, leave a comment. Probably going to do a couple other videos on it. I'm hoping that, you know, this weekend I might do a video for my friend that passed away. We'll see what happens there. Um, you know, 59 years old. That's uh, it's too early. You know what I mean? It's too early. And it just makes you think that, like, life, life goes so fast. And uh, I just talked to him the day before. I would have seen him that same day. But I had another meeting that I had to go to, and by the time I would have, when I when I came back, he was it, I already got the news that uh, that happened, and they worked on him for like 30 minutes to try to save him, and it didn't happen. So, I mean, it's uh, I was really bummed out about that. Kind of threw me off this week. I wasn't really worried about hunting, even though my gears in my truck, I just I just wasn't really 
worried about it too much. I finally got dinner, which was nice. A little Arby's sandwich and a drink, which is cool. There's a lot of new stuff right now that I'm messing around with and testing. And I gotta do I gotta make some time one day and just knock out some videos. Yeah, it's definitely a hard time. I mean the guy the guy just uh he's a mechanic, kind of a jack of all trades kind of guy. And uh he did some work on my wife's car just about a week ago. Didn't even charge me for it. Um, you know, she had bought the parts and he said you do a lot of stuff for us and sometimes it goes unnoticed and take care of it, so in a weird way, that was, you know, like a gift to her. And he really never met her that uh, he knew about her and, and um, similar minds, I guess. But that's the kind of guy he was. I mean, he'd just go out of his way to, to help somebody. And, um, yeah, it's just, it still hasn't, uh, I mean, it's sunk in, but it's it's still, it's going to be weird going to that place without him being there because it was always fun to check in. He's actually the guy... Um, in my couple videos ago when I did the changed out the fireplace and my fire pits, he got me those truck rims. So I'm thinking about welding his name, like a, a remembrance, uh, and weld his name into the fire ring that I use. This way every time we're building a campfire and hang around the campfire, it's like he's, he's kind of, there's a little memory of him there. So I might do that probably in spring. I mean, the fire, fire rings are out there right now. It's, it's raining and sleeting and freezing rain, stuff like that. But I thought that might be a good idea. Um, did you build this room yourself? Yeah. So this, I built this area just to have like a, I mean, I have a, an office office and then I have like the home office. So I pretty much threw this together. Uh, it's just a little basement room that was kind of extra space. We used it for storage. And uh, I, I decided, like, I, I wanted to have an area where I could grab camera bags. Like, behind the camera there, there's there's a bunch of bags, tripods, stuff like that. And then I have some cases of stuff over here. A couple cases back there for some of the podcasting stuff we do. And um, it, it's kind of grown over the last year. But I got the shelving that I wanted. And some of that's, like, my network equipment's oh, some's over there, some's upstairs. Um... And then I have like a charging station where I can charge all my camera batteries and all my gear and kind of just grab what I need, throw it in a bag and go. I, I, I have too many, too many bags, Yeti bag, the Yeti book bag, the Yeti duffel bag, Yeti, not two more Yeti book bags. This one's down here. Um, Pelican cases like crazy. I, I try to keep everything organized camera gear wise. Um, this way I can put a kit together, get on the road and go. And I usually take extra stuff with me. Tonight, I'm going to load up at least... I'm going to try to go as minimal as possible because we're flying private. So, just got to do like... I can take as much as I want. But I'm going to try to get like two or three cases and a book bag. I'm hoping. Uh, and then maybe a tripod or two. That should be all I need for tomorrow. Every time I, I do something though, it, it's... Uh, oh, hold on a second. Uh, King of Chai. All right, man. Happy holidays, man. I hope to... I hope to keep more consistent, man, and I hope you join in more often. Um, drive safe in, in, in all the, the driving that you do. I'm sure I'll see you. Uh, I'm sure I'm, I'll see you soon here. But yeah, this room kind of just. I got these desks from Lowe's. I really like these high top desks. They're really workbenches. And I was going to put them on wheels so I could move them around, but the tile floor, I just didn't want to have them uh, wheeling around. So they're, they're pretty much stationary. But I really like these desks. The other side is just kind of like a workstation. I got the PlayStation over there, um, the NAS drive back in the back here. Um, a couple other things. Let me actually. It looks a little dark on the stream. Let me let me turn up. Uh, let me turn a light on. Might help a little bit. <clears throat> it's hard to really tell. But yeah, so, so I threw the room together. Um, it's a nice little area. I didn't put anything on the walls yet, though, because I was going to stain them. And then I didn't want to make the room any darker. So I haven't decided what I want to do with them. I didn't do it with them, and I didn't want to drill holes in the walls yet. So I just kind of did the shelves, the desks, uh, a wheelie cart that I can move around and, and 
camera gear. So I got like teleprompter and stuff in there. In the one case, I got some camera lighting. And in one case, I got some wiring and stuff in another. Um, everything's kind of like in kits. So the podcasting equipment's in one kit, which is behind the camera there. Um, and then I have a couple bags. Yeah, it's taking a lot of, taking a lot of work, but I, I kind of want to kick off helping people grow their channels too and, and talk about, you know, channel growth. I mean, I haven't had time to work on mine like I work on others, uh, because I'm, I'm pretty much working on other ones all the time. And, uh, I, I wanted to have like a personal space where I could just throw videos up, help people chat with people and kind of go through YouTube stuff and camera gear. And, but there's so many camera channels out there like uh, camera conspiracies. That's a fun channel. Casey's a cool dude. Um, Tony Northrop. I'm trying to think who else. Um, another guy from Philly. Um, they, I mean, there's a ton, there's a ton of camera channels. Um, I'm trying to think of the other guy's name. The Everyday Dad, or no, the 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 Everything Man, and then uh, the Everyday Dad. I think is the other two channels. But they're they're always talking about cameras and stuff like that. And there's there is some really good information out there. But I, I, I do feel that like you can start for a few hundred bucks or use your phone and get a channel kicked off. It's all about the content you create. I mean, anytime I create a, a decent video, it's going to get views. I mean, the live streams don't get as many views. Um, some of my everyday, you know, videos I do for family stuff or friends that that's not going to get views because it's not searchable. You got you to produce searchable content. So I, I've, I've been so surprised at some of the videos that I've put up that are just helpful and or just you know searchable on a specific item a tool um the atomus screen on the gh5 if, for people that are shooting with gh5s you never realize how big the world is and how many people are out there until you until you start filming <clears throat> uh when will the winner of the giveaway be picked so pilot i'm trying to i'm trying to do it um around christmas somewhere towards the end of december here Maybe the first of the year. Uh, my goal is to get a, a thousand subscribers, and maybe do something then again for like a thousand subscriber giveaway. It's cool, cresting the five hundred. So that's that's my master plan. I'm gonna do a video on it. I just wanted to kind of throw it out there tonight to let people know. Um, then I'm gonna do something and get a little bit of traction. But it, you should have a good good opportunity because it's not a, not a huge channel. I thought it'd be a great item to to give away. I always try to do something every year. I didn't do something for Thanksgiving this year, and I really wanted to do that, and, and time is just, it just keeps rolling, um, soon, my channel's growing now, bro, I'm so happy, that's awesome, Van, I'm gonna, uh, definitely, uh, I'll, I'll subscribe to you, too, if I haven't already, I might have already done that, make real life racing videos, what kind of racing are you into, um, since I haven't had a chance to check out your channel yet, let me know what, what kind of racing you're doing, uh, any suggestions on growing a new channel, um, Produce content that's searchable and stuff that people will, will search and watch. So half of the, half the battle is getting um, the exposure, and then the other half is keeping the exposure and, and encouraging people to subscribe. So I don't have a lot of subscribers on this channel because I, I never really encourage people to subscribe. I just kind of produce stuff and throw it out there. Um, but definitely searchable content. So if you have a website, you want to optimize it, Maybe have your content on your website where people can find it. And then make sure your title tags and descriptions are done on YouTube. There's some cool tools you can use as well, like uh, TubeBuddy, or TubeBuddy and VidIQ, which will give you a lot of information on, on what's popular, trending topics, things like that. I know like ASMR is pretty big nowadays. Of course, gaming's big, but the barrier to entry is tough as well. So you have highly competitive stuff. Uh, I would try to get the, the like moderate um, competitive type of topic, something that you can win and you can be, you know, first place on when somebody searches. So some of the videos, whether it's be, you know, helpful to somebody, educational to somebody, uh, entertaining to somebody, those are probably like the three top categories. And then, um, making sure your title and your description and your keywords all relate to the video you're producing. Um, that's, that's probably a, a good, um, starting point there big bait uh let's see here kind of a rally cross okay um do your own thing work hard yeah i mean it, it's a lot of work it's just i don't have time to, to do things for myself that's uh I, I guess that's part of the battle i mean there's a lot of people out there that 
have, you know, nine to five jobs or something, and they can come home and just crush YouTube for a while and maybe build it into like a second income. I'm not really doing it for an income. I'm doing it really to help people, and it's fun. It's fun meeting new people and talking to new people. There's so many cool channels out there. I've gotten into uh, tool channels, um, just checking out different tools. I've gotten into outdoor stuff and watching other people's hunting videos, which is really cool to see, like, different landscapes and, and where everybody else is hunting and fishing and doing stuff in the outdoors. Actually, some of it's motivating, too, to to really say, like, look, there's guys producing videos that they get views, they have fun, they're they're consistent, and they're, and they're not the big videos. They're not big productions. Some of them are just on a cell phone. Some are GoPro. Some are, you know, a small DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera. Just basic things. It's just being consistent and hanging out. And that's, that's something that I don't have time to do with this channel as much as I'd like to. Um, I hope to change that as time progresses. Let's see here. I hope I didn't miss anything, but yeah, I don't have a ton of, ton of viewers, but it's, it's fun to, uh, it's fun to jump on for a little bit. I've got so much stuff to, to do. Clearing memory cards and hard drives, that's also a pain. Um, I edit on Mac with Final Cut Pro. I really like that. Um, I can do stuff on the go, which is nice. Even iMovie is not too bad for throwing clips together. I've, I've seen a lot of channels that got built just using iMovie on an, on an iPhone, which is uh, another option. But going through drives, I, I cleared a bunch of memory cards. Again, that GH5 camera is ready to go. Something I do like for audio, if you if you guys are really looking at like good audio, and, and you're filming out in the go, is the Rode the new little Rode uh, wireless go system. Very small, compact. Put this on a camera. Clip this to your clip the other one the uh, receiver to your body, which I'm not quite sure exactly where the other my receiver's at. Let's see if I have it in this case here. But that's a pretty good. I'm not sure where my receiver's at for it. But the Rode Wireless Go has been a great microphone. Uh, the Rode, this Rode's a pretty good mic, but it's bulky. So if you want like a shotgun mic on top of your camera, that works well. This one actually has a problem with it. The USB port. I should do a review on it because everybody claims this to be like the best camera, and I got it and. The USB port was loose in it, so sometimes it doesn't hold a charge and stay charged like I'd like it to. But that's a good a good microphone. The Rode Wireless Go has been great, and I have a, a Sennheiser kit that I use, and another Rode kit. Find that. Getting calls. Um, I do got one problem. Got many views, but only 165 subs. It's weird. Yeah, a lot of times you'll get that. So, like, I have, um, I think, almost maybe 550,000 views, something like that, 575,000 since I started my channel. And I deleted some videos, so I lost some views. So, a lot of times, you know, I think probably 98% of the people don't subscribe. But it's, it's asking them to subscribe. I, I'd start with asking people to subscribe because uh, I always forget in videos and... I don't want to be like, oh, you got to subscribe, you got to subscribe, it's going to be crazy, because I don't want to, like, promise something and then not be able to deliver new content, like, three times a week or once a week. Uh, you have to be consistent. There's channels that post once a month, but at least if they're consistent, um, you, you can grow. So if you're getting a lot of views, I, I would definitely ask people to subscribe and, and make content that people are going to want to subscribe to or can, can follow up on, the like, like storyline. So I always relate it to television shows if you know a television show is on every friday at five o'clock some once you get used to that and you watch it every few times or even youtube channels hey we're going live on sunday at eight o'clock every time you do that if you're consistent with it people kind of expect a video or um want to be notified for the next one so I, I think the consistency will help out with that as well so i don't know how consistent you post videos but I would definitely try to be as consistent as possible. Even if it's once a week or once a month and then lead into the next video. Hey, in the next video, I'm going to cover this or cover that. Something that people want to 
not miss, I guess is what I, what I would say. Hopefully that's helpful. I've helped a, a couple friends build, build channels. So, I mean, to a million subscribers, I mean, once you get the first couple thousand, it can steamroll. So, and it really depends on the market and how many people are basically in that, in that space. So like even the camera space, I, I feel it was like a 50,000 subscriber to 150,000 subscriber of, of people that are following cameras and camera gear. Now, now there's people that have more than that, but there's only a couple top names. So depending on how many people are watching videos, you can, if you're consistent and you start and, and you get maybe promoted by a bigger YouTuber, somebody that has more subscribers than you, that's, that's helpful too. Um, I've, I've seen some channels grow two, 3000 subs, um, just from a mention from, uh, either a celebrity or somebody that has a, a bigger YouTube channel twice a week. Okay. So, I mean, you it, it could be too consistent, you know, or, or too many times, but it depends on, uh, look at your engagement. I mean, uh, one of the things you definitely want to look at that's going to tell you everything about your channel and how people are watching your content, what, see your watch time and, and engagement on the video, how long people are watching each one of your videos. Um, YouTube uh, analytics is definitely, and, and YouTube studio is definitely a great tool to, to see how people are interacting with your channel. Um, I've, I look at the high level stuff on mine, uh, but I know some, some videos have big engagement and, and they're watching it the whole way through, which YouTube likes to see. Uh, the other thing about that, uh, YouTube liking to see uh, the algorithm. So, you know, when YouTube wants to deliver for an advertiser content that's going to keep them on YouTube. So from an advertising perspective, YouTube definitely, I, I really feel that they boost channels that once they're monetized, stuff like that, and, you know, will display them more, uh, getting recommended, if you can get recommended, or you'll actually see too... Um, and I, I know I'm bouncing around a little bit because I, I should have a whole conversation just on this. But um, if you get in the recommended side, even from other videos, in analytics, you'll be able to see what videos are recommending you and the topics and uh, all the content around that. Um, and then you can kind of see what videos you should do next and what people are engaging on. So I have a lot of videos on my channel that are getting no plays and sometimes through different seasons they might get plays so if I do something in the winter and it's a winter related one or hunting is going to come around in Pennsylvania it's going to come around once a year or right around fall every year that's going to pick up and then it'll, it'll usually drop off in the summer so there's there's different times that you can release a video that would be helpful Some people uh, launch their videos in the morning. Some people launch them in the evening. I have, uh, let's see here. Look at look at my channel now, just analytics wise. You know, there's the hunting videos are, are th those kind of took off. I mean, it really boosted my watch time in the last 28 day period. Gotten like 30 some more subscribers, 35, 36 more subscribers. Um, my top videos, uh, hunting. Uh, Still working on my quad. Uh, one of the videos working on my quad. Uh, some stuff with my truck. Another hunting video. Some ham radio stuff with uh, the Yesu radio. I mean, it. you can go in there and, and see. I mean, most of my stuff is Google search. So, obviously, I'm winning Google search. And probably YouTube search. So, YouTube is the second largest search engine. So, you definitely want to have your videos optimized. Think of what people will search don't think of necessarily what your video is, but what will people search to, that you'd want them to find your video? And that's kind of what you want to build your, your content around and your description and your keywords and everything like that. So think all the, the search terms that, you know, if you're into to skiing or something or whatever the case may be, hunting, fishing, outdoors, think of like how to catch more fish or, you know, how to track down a buck. Like these are... These are things that people want to learn. So if you're going for like the educational and then you make it fun and, and people may subscribe. So yeah, no problem. No problem at all. No problem at all. I can't believe it's 8 o'clock already. It's like time time's non-stop. I got to do some updates on... I guess a new iOS came out. I gotta update that. I haven't even got the new iPhone yet. I mean, I got the uh, 
the new Apple AirPods, the AirPods Pro. That was a really good upgrade, I think. I'm going to do a video on those sometime if I, if I ever get some time. But from the original ones, I think they're, they're much better with the noise canceling and stuff. Well, I guess I should pull the chat back up. 2 o'clock. 2 a.m.? Is it Saturday? Or, uh, I guess it would be Saturday. I, th I forget where you said you're from. Nether Netherlands or something like that. I talk to people all across the country on, on the radio stuff. So over on the shelf over there, I run a uh, repeater off my house. And I have that connected. I'm actually setting up another um, uh, Raspberry Pi for another connection. I talk to people in like Australia and all over the, all over the country. Or all over the world. And it's pretty neat to see like what people are up to at different times of day. Yeah, Saturday too. Oh, so is it? Let's. I think you said. Uh, other one's time. Yeah. Two, oh, two o two a.m. Saturday. Okay. So. Um. Wow. Yeah, I'm usually up late if I'm working on a project. Yep, from that. Yep, cool. That's awesome. It's awesome to have people. I, I, that's the other thing I look at, too, is where people are watching the channel from. So if YouTube puts that data out there, it's, it's fun to see how many people watch in different countries you hit and stuff like that. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I've been filming for a while. It's a lot of fun. It's fun to get out there. I noticed all the videos that I do that are actually like going somewhere and doing something. You, you definitely get more views on, and it's it's fun. Like after the fact, you're, I'm like, man, I glad, I'm glad I shot that. I have a ton of videos uh, on my Nash drive that I do need to edit and put out there. I probably have 20 more videos that I could put out there. Now they won't be in any consistent order, and that's what that's what kind of sucks is because people can't follow the storyline. Or what I'm up to today or tomorrow or the next day. So some videos I have are a year old, but I should probably still edit them and throw them out there. Hey, no problem. No problem. It's fun to share information. I mean, it's all... If you're, if you're really trying to build, there, there's so many ways you can build. And, and some people, you know, or can build it easier than others. Um, you know, I've helped one channel grow. I don't want to put out too many channel names and stuff, but uh, I helped one channel grow, and um, it took a little bit of time to get started. And then, as soon as there was like a the the recommend the recommended videos and getting a couple mentions from a couple other subscribers, it just skyrocketed. So it's fun to see. I, I have a lot of friends. I have one friend that built like two hundred and fifty thousand, three hundred thousand subscribers in like a year, which is pretty cool. And, and but it's regular content, and he's dedicated to it. So it's that's that's a big key is is like when people can expect another video, and you do a few in a row, and then they start getting recommended, and then it just kind of barrel rolls. But there's so many people out there. Like I would never thought working on a quad video would get thirty thousand plays. But there's so many people that had that problem, and so many people that have those machines that you know they're they're searching for it. So if you can find something that people are searching for that there isn't really a lot of information out on that's going to be helpful but I still always go back to cameras because a lot of youtubers get and I wouldn't even consider myself a youtuber but a lot of youtubers that want to build are worried about the camera and it does have a lot of to play into it but not like there's other things that are more important off the bat like I said I have a friend that built a channel um, I think he has around 40,000 subscribers now and did it all off an iPhone. So there's people that'll that complain about that, but you know, the best camera you have is the one you have on you. So I, I've shot, I, I like convenience. Um, sometimes shooting with the GH5, Panasonic GH5 and GH5S are, are really popular cameras. Um, you shoot 10 bit on that and you shoot high, high resolution and you're shooting 4K, the files are huge. Like uh, one file could be um, 10 gig. So to even to edit that and the machine you have to have to edit, that's the barrier to entry. I'd rather shoot a decent quality 1080p video 
or video off a phone. Like, you don't have to shoot 4K on the iPhone, but, like, 1080p and just edit it real quick, get it out there, and, and you can do the same stuff. I mean, a lot of displays today, people aren't even viewing them. I have a 5K monitor here, and very few videos are shot in 5K. Uh, they're all downscale, especially if you're watching YouTube. Uh, biggest YouTube inspirations? Um, I mean, aside from your... I, I like uh, I like what Mr. Beast did, and I'm not trying to say that just because he's so popular. I, I like the concept of it, because I always thought about doing that. One year for Thanksgiving, I did a live stream and just went out and bought uh, turkey subs for basically anybody in the community. And I think I spent a couple hundred bucks doing that. Like, what he did was from, you know, taking money from people, and if you have the money, it'd be like being a millionaire and just being able to change people's lives in like a split second. And for him to find a way to be able to do that without using his own money and, and having sponsors and, and saying, you know, hey, we're going to give you a hundred grand, but they're going to get, you know, five million views. When, when you're to an advertiser, when you're buying advertising, Facebook today is from an advertiser perspective, like if you want to advertise your brand, it's now getting more and more expensive because it's popular and everybody's on it and people know that Facebook is a great place to to run ads Facebook makes it really easy to boost posts and and that's not the way you should do the ads but um, the boost button you know take five ten bucks from a million people that want to to get their little brand out there or 20 bucks or 100 bucks whatever it is um, from an advertiser perspective it's expensive to buy viewers just like people that buy YouTube subscribers and stuff like that and it's against all the terms of service and everything else but you, you want to have engagement. So in a, in a way, those people that support Mr. Beast are, are they believe in what he's doing and, and making a difference in people's lives. So their money is actually going towards making a difference in people's lives and creating some entertainment and getting their name brand on it. So I, I would say that um, that would be that would be probably one of the ones that I really respect. Um, of course, you have your Casey Neistat's and all those other people and, and top YouTubers, but I have a couple that I follow in, in specific uh, categories. How do I win? So right now, what we were going to do was um, just leave a comment on my intro video and thumbs up and subscribe to the page. And then um, I'm planning to give away when I hit about a thousand subscribers. Um, the Vintage Farmer. What's up, Vintage Farmer? How are you, man? Uh, I got a channel, but it's mainly a vlog about homesteading, farming, hunting, fishing, recipes, and just daily life. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, I, I don't know if I've... I wonder if I can... Uh, let me see if I can view your um, channel here real quick. I might have I might have commented on your on one of your videos, or maybe maybe not, but... Uh, no, it's cool. Like that's That's where my channel is. The other thing I should mention is if you're like hyper targeted to a certain audience, you'll probably grow faster. Uh, so if you're into just cameras or you're into just, you know, fishing or into just hunting and you have like that category covered and you're producing content all around that, you probably grow a lot faster because you're, you're reaching uh, a targeted audience. It, it's hard when you have a channel like uh, Vintage Farmer and uh, I'm just looking like muzzleloader season. Um, Bella Twine, working on, like, same same kind of stuff. Like, it's hard because people, one minute they're on your channel and they're seeing camera gear, the next minute they're on your channel they're seeing, you know, farming, and then the next minute they're seeing this. So it's really hard to, uh, it's, it's harder to build that. But it's more fun to, like, I love putting out just whatever I want to put out because it's me and it's my family and it's and it's what I'm up to and it's something I enjoy. And, and I feel like there's so many other people out there that probably have the same same things. So I could start separate channels and have a hunting channel and a fishing channel. Maintaining and babysitting all that would be a pain. I don't have the time to even do one channel, yet alone five. So uh, I, I just figured have a channel. and I'm in the same boat where you just kind of put it all together and, and you do meet some really cool people that are into the same thing. So there's a lot of, a lot of guys that are on my channel. Um, they're into hunting and then they're, they might be into fishing. They might be into hiking or quad riding, stuff like that. So to me, it's like I, I bounce around a little bit. And some people want to capture that content too. So the different cameras that I've tested and, and use, and you know, I'm not going to take a $5,000 camera rig out and 
beat it. I, I don't have the the way to, to just go and buy new cameras when I bust them, like some of the big YouTubers and stuff like that. So, you know, GoPro works, and it's fun to, to get creative with that kind of stuff. I mean, a, a cell phone works. They're just capturing the moment is, is part of it. But The intro video, it's... it's um. It's like the intro to Nick Pixel TV. It's it's on my, um, you know, I, I probably should have thought about this more, and but we'll we'll make it legit. We'll make it we'll make it good. Um, it's like the main video on my channel. Uh, it's a couple down. If you look, it's like um, Nick Pixel TV capturing life's pixels. So I, I like, you know, that that video. I think it has like 163 views or something like that. But. Um, it was uploaded like five months ago, but I think it's on the, on the, um, I think it's listed as the channel trailer or channel trailer video. I think is what they call it, but it's kind of just like a welcoming video I did for my channel just to, which probably should update all the time. But I just thought, you know, really uh, like I don't have a big, uh, comments database. So like there'll be a good chance. And if you're subscribed, I'm, I'm going to do something creative when it comes down to that, but I do want to give away. The Hero 7, um, do something. I, I think it's really cool to see what somebody does with it. And, you know, if it makes somebody's day and, and can help one person, that's that's good with me. It doesn't do anything right now sitting in this box. And I, I don't really have a need for it because if I open it, then it's going to sit around. And I, I'm using, like, a select set of cameras right now, some stuff that just works for me. Vintage Farmer, though, I'll, I'll definitely... Um, I, I try to subscribe back to, to everybody that uh, that joins. Yeah, there's some other people live right now, too, that I follow. I don't know if Friday night's a, a good um, a good night, but I use the Hero 7, works awesome. Yeah, Hero 7, I mean, it's great. I mean, for the audio could be a little bit better, I guess, out of, out of the camera. But there's ways to do external audio, get tiny mics. The best mic I have, or like a good mic that I have that was really tiny, I've rigged this thing up on so many cameras. I, I think I carry it with me most of the time. And let me... Uh, let me make some room here for a second because I got, got a mess. But in my case, I always carry this little mic in case I get in a jam. And I'll have to look up the model. But this little, it's hard to show you right here, this, um, this little thing here. That's the mic. And I have a little wind muff for it. And then this is just a little adapter. And then you can get use the GoPro adapter to it. But it, it's a very tiny mic. Um, and I know it's going to be crappy to see on a live stream. But it's an ETM-001 e, uh, EDU Echo Delta Uniform Tango India GE. What is G? I can't even think of it right. Golf. Golf Echo. Um Edutige, Edutige ETM-001, but the mic is so tiny. And I keep this for some of the cameras that if you're trying to get better audio quality, you can just wrap the USB cord up and glue it to the camera if you want to. Now you're going to lose the waterproof uh, part of the camera, but if you want good audio and directional audio, like that's a good microphone to have for the GoPro. You can really make a big step with the new Hero 7. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, uh, it's it's a good it's a good camera. Like I said, I, I have the Hero Eight. The Hero Eight. Um, actually, I shot with that the other day. It's in one of these cases here. Um, let me think about this for a second. It might be actually in my truck. Let me look in this case. No, that's a, here's another seven. Here's another seven, black. Here's a six. I haven't really changed that much. I have the uh, 
The eight's in a case somewhere. I'm gonna go pro stuff. Let me see if I can find it. I guess, I guess it might be in my truck. I'm looking for a, those are mics. Oh, I know, it's in my hunting bag. Because I was planning to go hunting. It's in my hunt. It's it's attached to the um, my hunting bag right now. So I mean the hero, the hero eight's a good camera. A little bit, but I like I like the hyper smooth stuff. But there's nothing wrong with the seven. And some people say it's not worth the upgrade between the seven and the eight, depending on what you're using it for. No, I wasn't in the military. My dad was. He was in the uh, navy for oh twenty twenty some odd years, and my great. My grandfather was in uh, a Navy recruiter for a long time. Billy boy, Billy boy, do you have to come in here and, and start? Do you have do you have to do that? Uh, what's going on, brother? By the way, tell everyone what you do for a living. I just do I, I do a lot of web development marketing, so web development marketing, IT stuff. Um, and you know, build build channels, build uh, build brands, basically. Um, that's pretty much what I do, uh, and that's what kind of keeps me occupied. And and sometimes it, uh, I guess you get to the burnout, the burnout part two, where you're doing it all the time every day. And it's like if you're a mechanic, it's not fun to come home and work on cars all the time. Like unless you're working on something like let's build horsepower or something. It's it, sometimes when you do too much of it, it, it kind of gets kind of gets boring but um you know it's to me it's it was like really uh repetitive work doing this all the time and to me like filming something fun when you have the equipment that like i gotta use this for work so it makes me money uh youtube doesn't make me any money but aside from that like when you have all have all this equipment and have access to it, it's so much fun. And I know there's people that would kill to be able to go out there and have equipment that they can go out and film really good hunting videos or really good fishing videos or whatever the case may be. But the barrier to entry isn't that that tall with phones and everything now nowadays today. So you don't really need a lot of this stuff. I mean, there's certain um, instances where you do, and you'll see YouTubers out there like, oh, I got a new red camera, 30,000 bucks. That's, that's great. And if you're filming music videos for celebrities or you're filming some commercials where on, on their riders are saying you need to have this and this and this, or you're filming for Netflix and you have to have, you know, here's our minimum specs. Yeah, I get that. But as far as, you know, being able to put content in YouTube, yeah, you don't need to, to go crazy. So uh, point and shoots are great. A lot of people use point and shoots. One of my favorite cameras is the G7X Mark II. This camera has a cracked screen. It works perfectly. Um, this is probably one of the, the better cameras. The only thing it doesn't have is a mic input. So you have to do the little muff trick on the top to, to try to get some good audio out of it. If, this had a, if the G7X Mark II had a mic input, it would have probably been if not the number one, you know, close to the number one selling camera. Um, you know, for the average person, they don't like to switch lenses and, and have to carry around lenses. The more gear you have, the, the less you're, you're going to use it. Um, the more equipment you have to take with you to set up. It, it's, if you're not getting paid to do it, it's not as much fun to do it <laughs> because it's like you, you got to have people and you got to carry all this stuff, um, set it up and, and tear it down and move it around. So that's, you know, this is nice to be able to just pull out and shoot with it. Now, they did come out with the G7X Mark III, which does have a mic port. It's a great camera. Um, the autofocus is a little bit weak on it, for sure. Uh, so. The calls tonight. But uh, the G7X Mark II, great camera. The three is a good camera. That one is here so this one i didn't modify the mic at all or put a muff on it because 
I'll plug in an external mic. And this will give you an example with this little mic here. You know, you could do so much stuff with this tiny mic. You could tape it here. I've used like 3M tape with uh, the little holders that hold zip ties, the little square tabs that hold zip ties to like a wall. Cut one down to where it's just a little square. Stick that on, zip tie it. And yeah, you have the little cord, but that's very tiny. And put a little wind muff on top of that and you're good to go. So it's nice having the external mic with the G7X Mark III. They did an update to the autofocus. It's not the greatest if you're in autofocus. If you manual focus, you won't have a problem. But that's a great camera, point and shoot. G7X Mark II, great camera, point and shoot. Cell phone, great camera, point and shoot. You're not going to carry around a rig like this very often. Hunting and fishing and outdoors and stuff like that. It's just You're, you're just not going to do it. You can, and people do it, but... I'm not going to do it. All right, get some sleep, man. I uh, appreciate it, Van, for, for joining. Um, have a great evening. I hope to see you soon. Appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, I don't really have a, a lot else to, to chat about, really. I just kind of wanted to hang out for, for a little bit. Um, probably, probably have to start loading up here. Four o'clock, five o'clock is going to come really early, really early. But it's a quick two-hour flight down and back, get the job done, come back tomorrow night, hopefully not too late. And then I got the funeral Sunday, or funeral uh, viewing on Sunday and, and a funeral on Monday. So just part of, part of life, got to do that. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Later on, brother. Take it easy. Thanks again for joining. At least everything, I got a lot of stuff charged while we were sitting here, which is good. Anybody else still in the chat? I see there's still, I think there's still people in there. I got to figure out the stream health. I, I get excellent for a while, and then I get... My encoder sending data faster than what it what it should be. I, I'm gonna definitely I'll upgrade the quality of this stream too. So I, I can I didn't want to mess with cameras tonight, so I can use a, a real camera and you know stream 1080 or 4K even and brighten it up a little bit. This camera doesn't really do good in lower light situations, and it's not really meant for for this type of stream. But it, but it's easy for right now, so that's why I do it. And this was like a last minute decision because I felt really bad about not uploading the rest of the hunting series. And like I said, I just got thrown off with a buddy passing away. So can't drop your hiving. Just chilling, listening, drinking beer. There you go. There you go. I'd like to have a couple beers. That, that's that's a, a good Friday night thing to do, I guess. But um, I, I just got to get up, get up too early, get organized and organize a uh a camera pack to take i'm gonna go through a bunch of cables make sure i have everything because like i like to over prepare so that it's it's cool when you're around uh you know when people are paying you to do a job and they i mean curveballs kind of suck but it's nice whenever they'll say like man i really wish you could do this and it's like you know what i brought that with me and i can do it Sometimes that goes a long way. So sometimes that's why I take a lot more equipment than what I really could get away with. But it's nice, like, if you have the drone out and you, and you, you know, the customer wants some drone footage or something like that, or you need to capture something and 360 or just a moment or something, it, it's just nice to have. So I try to pack a little extra. And if something would break or you get stuck, extra cables, stuff like that, charging everything. I always take extra batteries. I got more batteries than I know what to do with but sometimes you'll go through and and kill them all and like the recorders I use go through batteries like, like crazy I gotta bring the chat with me I guess I wish I could play music and stuff but 
I, I mean, I guess I could right now because I'm not really monetized or anything, but um, I'm in my own business. What do you do? Yeah, I do like web development and marketing and um, basically productions and, and I, I guess in a nutshell, like brand brand development for companies. So people that want to elevate and take their, their brand to the next step or get more exposure, that's what I do. So that's pretty much what funds the equipment and and the gear and going through the gear and then it's nice like i said to be able to use it for i wish i could i could produce some really cool videos the thing is is typically i gotta be the one shooting it and not in the videos so like i'd love to do some collabs because my buddy has a fishing channel and and has i think like six seven thousand subscribers something like that maybe a little more but he's always talking to me about doing some stuff together because he's like man i can never get the great footage of myself it's just a lot of work it'd be nice to have somebody to film me and i'm like yeah it'd be nice to have somebody to film you know with my equipment or, or or use some of this equipment for that so that that's like um that's part of it but I, like i said i noticed like my videos that i put on my channel i don't i don't go like crazy with them like i, I don't want to put I, I don't know if i want to say it that way that i don't want to put the time in i don't have the time but I just like to produce something that's enough that can get it out there and share it because if it takes too much, you're not going to share it. And that's why people like GoPros and people like cell phone videos and people start channels with everything else because you can easily upload it, edit it, you know, edit it, upload it, and, and deliver it and, and get the message out there. And sometimes it's not about the, the quality. Now, if your audio sucks, you, you probably won't get viewers. But, but uh, Farmer, uh, Vintage Farmer, I, I, I actually like... I like the uh, like. I'm a, I'm a tech guy, um, but I'm also like a welder and outdoors guy and working on stuff. So I have videos like working on equipment or, or working on stuff in the garage. Like I enjoy that stuff too. And some of the people that follow my channel came from that. Some people have come for you know radio stuff, or some people have come for tech. But I'm all over the place. I mean, from hunting to to whatever I'm trying to capture at the time or whatever I'm doing at the time, I usually try to capture it, and then. Um, you know, just throw it out there. And I've learned to just put more stuff out there. Like, uh, the hunting videos I just filmed, you know, I had my camera in my bag and I was going to set up stuff and, and I'm really there to hunt and have a good time and enjoy myself. And, and I don't get that much time in the woods. So when I'm there, I just, I want to share it, but at the same time, I don't want to make it like work because if it becomes work, it's not fun anymore. And I wanted this channel to be fun. You've absolutely, yeah. A lot of people that, that, um, or starting channels don't have the tech. That's why I thought I could share, like, a, I wanted to, like, make a series or, like, a category for people that want to start YouTubes. Like, there's so much stuff that, that you can do pretty easily if you have the time to do it. And that's what people will say, like, I have all this time, but I don't know what to do. And, like, I have a good experience on what to do. I don't have the time. And that's the, it's kind of like the time and money thing that people always balance. You know, you either have enough money and not enough time or enough time and no money. And you're trading off your time for money, stuff like that. I mean, it, it kind of goes back and forth. Um, but I mean, you don't have to be like, I want to do like startups, you know, what you can start with, how to, you know, some people like live streams, how to do live streams. There's easy ways to do it. Like I'm doing this on like a 200 and... I think the camera was like four or five hundred initially, but this is like a two hundred dollar camera, um, and it's portable, and it's wirelessly connected. I'm using the audio from my iPad right here, so like, there's so many ways you can do it. Today, uh, you can live stream from the new GoPros. Sounds like me, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. I mean, Billy, Billy, you you understand? I mean, it's 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 crazy. And then and then to take a video, come back copy the files over, start editing it, filling up hard drive space. I got 50 terabytes of hard drive space used here, no joke. At least hard drives on top of hard drives, stacks of them. And then I put it on a, on a NAS drive that has 10, 15 terabytes built into it. it it's, it's fun, but it's not. Like It's more fun to just shoot something, edit it, and get it out there and, and have people enjoy it. Vintage Farmer, let me look at your channel again, too, by the way. You know, Vintage Farm Tractors, very old farm machinery in operation. Like, that stuff people will Google. Maybe you want to put, like, the 
what the equipment is because maybe people will Google the equipment versus, you know, think of what people will Google and you want them to find your video. I'd love to own a farm. That would be something to, that, I mean, I, I'd like to, that's, a, you know, saving now and I'd like to just buy some land and put a log cabin up in the woods. Like nothing crazy, just, it's really fun to edit videos though, having a blast, but I don't do it for work. Yeah, no, exactly. That's the thing is like, it is, it is fun. I mean, it's, it's a, a great time to sometimes, you know, the one thing I've learned even with 500 subscribers and the videos that I've produced and the stuff that's just on my channel the work ones, let's just separate any work work stuff. But the stuff that's on my channel that um, you go back to and you can watch and you're like, man, I wish I was back at that experience. Or I wish, I'm so glad I got that on video. Or I'm so glad that, you know, people can see that story. That's what's really fun to me is like putting together a video and you play it a million times and you get the audio right and you get music right and... You do like kind of stuff like I really do enjoy that. And I wish I had more time to to do that for fun videos. And, and that can happen. It's not saying it's never going to happen. It's just, uh, you know, it's it. This doesn't pay the bills right now. And um, it's I don't need, really know if it ever will. It's just so much fun, too. That's why I wanted to do this. I mean, it's and it's fun helping people and meeting people like I, I love meeting new people, seeing what they're up to, watching channels like. When I'm bored, I'll, I'll just watch YouTube videos. Like, I have to sleep with, like, music. So I sleep with, like, headphones in and stuff. And I'll I'll either... Even if I don't watch a video, I like videos that tell a story. Because, like, I can listen to them before I go to sleep. Or I'll fall asleep watching a video. Or, you know, listening to somebody's video. And then I, I kind of, you know, feel like I know some of the people that I've never even met. Which is pretty neat. It's just like people joining this on a Friday night. It's like you never know who's watching your stream on a Friday night, sitting in their garage or just hanging out and like, oh, this guy's live. I'm going to watch this. Gym. I mean, I do that a lot. You know, if, if I have a little bit of time to kill, that's, that's, what I, uh, that's what I do. All right. Nice, dude. Camper action? Camper action? I don't know what all you're, what all you're pulling up, but... I'm just dropping that for uh, the YouTube Sally. So what have you been up to, Billy? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't touched base here. What, what's up with this trailer? What's the story here? Are you camping now? Truck looks good with the wheels, man. I'm done with working for the winter. Got five months off. See, that's... You got, like, the best time right now, Vintage Farmer. You got the best time to crush it and just go. Make videos. Do what you got to do. Five months off. Not uh, farm season. Where are you from, by the way? Like, state. Man, I wish we could play some music or something. I can only hang out for a little bit longer, though, because I do got a few things I got to do, but... Minnesota, oh, that's one place I'd like to go, Minnesota, I haven't, or how do they say, Minnesota, something like that, I got friends that play hockey up there, and uh, really cool, there's a couple cool channels that have come out of Minnesota too, a lot of work today, rain three inches, dude, everything, that's all we've been getting is rain, like I'd rather have snow than rain, we had ice today, cars were all over the place, freezing rain, and it was like rain, and then it froze, and then it then they sold the roads, and then it, and it was all right. But there was like an hour or two period that was all crazy. 
I know you're headed to Arizona. Is that is it? You're taking a camper? Is that is that a new camper? Minnesota. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now we're gonna make these streams more fun. I mean, I, if I could do like one a week and cover some different topics and camera gear and and just what I'm up to, I'd I'd love to do that. Um, that's why I wanted to like tonight was probably not the best time for me to go live, but. Uh, I started doing it on Friday nights. It really probably isn't the best time, but you just got to do it. And that's what I've been trying to tell myself is like, just, just hammer down and do it. And it's fun. And, you know, talk to people. And like I said, I wanted to do something, some kind of cool giveaway. And, um, I'm sure I'll think of, of more ideas. I mean, I have a ton of video ideas for the channel, but we got two feet, rode my ski to MXZ all day. Dude, I, I used to have like three snowmobiles, older ones, and then I had a couple newer ones, and we sold off the older ones, and they kind of fell apart, the old ones, the leaf springs and stuff, an old uh, uh, Skidoo, and an old uh, Articat, and I mean a Polaris, um, and a couple Polaris' newer ones, and they were fun, man, people don't understand sleds, man, you can go freaking 100 mile an hour through a field like nothing, I had quads and stuff like that, but yeah, it'd be, that'd be fun to uh, to ride, that'd be fun to ride. I miss riding sleds, man. A lot of my buddies got into side-by-sides now. Some have come back to quads. We do a lot of quad riding. But there's nothing There's nothing like sleds. So that's... I'm a little bit jealous, man, that you have, that you have uh, all that snow up there. I remember all the times we used to... You know, we used to get more snow back in the day, and now, now it seems more or less like... The winters are less and less. And a lot of people that had sleds sold them or they'll they'll try to find one for like five grand like just a good a good deal on one that you know it's probably a ten twelve thousand dollar sled and they got it for five you know after a couple years because we haven't gotten the snow i know a lot of a couple of my buddies go up north to like um like northern new york and maine and stuff like that to ride but uh that would be sweet i'm headed to arizona toy hauler 16 garage with two queens did you just buy that billy or, or did you, uh, did you have that? Toy haulers are the way to go. Like that would be, if I ever sold the motorhome, I would definitely do the toy hauler. I would definitely do the toy hauler. Uh, especially for like the mobile video stuff. When we do events and, and we're on the go, it'd be awesome to just have all the equipment in the toy hauler, have a place to stay. When we go like weekend events, work right out of the toy hauler and and be good to go like that's probably an ultimate goal it's just um getting there which is like anything else first dude the 1979 so i'm thinking ours were like uh 80 maybe 1980 somewhere in that range 79 80 81 something like that i, I don't even know what the model was they were the model that you worked on them just as much as you wrote them, if that, if that uh, resonates. Um, carry spark plugs. Carry a spare belt. Uh, spark plug wrench. Screwdrivers. Uh, just random, random things like that, you know, in a Ziploc in the, in the tool compartment. Multiple spark plugs. I've had, oh, you've had it. No suspension at all. Yeah, I mean, that would be a rough rod. These just had the leaf spring. You know, the reversed, uh, reverse leaf spring. Hated that thing. Carburetors. Have to drain the carburetors. Then when you had sleds with three carburetors and three cylinders, you have to maintain all three carburetors. But burning belts and, uh, going through skags. Now all the now all the stuff is like plastic and glides right over the the top of the the uh, snow. They've come the sleds have come a long way, but everything has. I mean, look at look at vehicles today, man. New trucks seventy thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars. I think Billy in here he drives an older truck. I mean, like the new stuff is just it's crazy. I mean, it, it's just it's just nuts. There's people making comments on YouTube on, like, I, I got into this, like, looking at log cabins and house building videos, and they're building these awesome freaking log cabins or pole barn houses for freaking 80 grand, and then you go out and buy a truck for 80 grand. 
like, I don't know. Heat central air, sleeps eight, full bath and kitchen. See, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, that's an, that's an awesome setup, brother. That's an awesome setup. Still cleated tracks, wouldn't go anyway. Dude, If so we had, the Art of Cat had the steel cleats across the whole track. So if you were on ice, you were just spinning any which way. It didn't really matter. And then we did the steel cleats on those track, and then we had the uh, studs every so often, which would help a little bit to give you some grip. But if you were on ice, those cleats did nothing. The ski we had um, we had the uh, just a regular rubber track, which wasn't too bad. And then we put a couple studs in it on that one. Um, but nowadays, the tracks they're making nowadays are just are just crazy. But yeah, the steel cleated steel cleated tracks, man. Uh that sled. And if you own a snowmobile, you know you just it's always just digging a hole, picking up the back, starting out again, digging a hole, picking up the back, starting out again. When I was little it was it was so hard because I was too tiny to lift up the lift up the sled all the time. Sleds are a lot of fun, man. A lot of good memories on on snowmobiles. And once you have one, if you have the snow, there's nothing like them. There's there's nothing like them. That's freaking awesome. So it's cool to see like people that join in chat that are into similar similar things. You know, like I said, I picked up a lot of people from the hunting hunting stuff, but um, it, it's cool that see like minded people. There's millions of us out there that are like similar. If I didn't um, have to go tomorrow, I'd probably be in the garage tonight. I probably would have live streamed from the garage. I mean, it's nice to live stream in here, and it's, and it's nice to have all the equipment set up. And but it's fun to be out in the garage on a Friday night, I'm working on a project. So I'm going to let this run for like two, three more minutes, I guess. I think I, man, unless anybody else has any questions. Um, I'm going to run out to my buddies for a little bit, maybe for like an hour, and then come back and load up. At least I don't have to pack clothes and stuff for tomorrow. And I guess I'm just going to wear maybe shorts. Oh, I guess see what the temperature's supposed to be. It's probably gonna be like 85 degrees down there tomorrow. So I'll just be cold when I leave here. It is what it is. I don't really feel like packing different clothes. Maybe I'll just wear jeans and take a pair of shorts. It's fun to get down there for the day, though. I mean, run to Florida, come back. It'd be cool. Freaking emails nonstop. Well, I'm probably gonna probably gonna wrap it up here. Try to get a couple things done before it gets too late. If I got to my buddies for like an hour or so and then swing back and just put the rest of this. I got like three kits on the floor over here. Three bags ready to go, close to being ready to go. Have fun, man. Hopefully catch you in the next one. Yeah, dude, definitely stop in, man. I appreciate it. If you ever go live, let me know. Uh, my email's in the about thing. Um, I'm definitely, if I'm not I'm not subscribed, you just got your 70, 7th subscriber. Hey, you're not you're not far, man. Get that first 100 and you'll be you'll be motivated. I'll have to check out your videos. I'll, that'll be something else I watch now. And uh, I always try to, I always try to comment and interact with people. It'll be uh, be cool to stay in touch. It's probably not the best, like I said, best night. There'll probably be more people if it wasn't a Friday night because people have plans and stuff on Fridays. But um, want to do something live. Like I said, it's it just sucks. You know, my buddy buddy passed away and uh, didn't get to finish the rest of the hunting videos. I got a couple little clips and stuff, but um, 
and I won't be able to hunt tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day of rifle, and I won't be able to go out, go out tomorrow because I have to do this project. So that's the story of my life. That's how things happen. But definitely, I got, I got you uh, subbed up, man. I appreciate you joining. Billy, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, message you. Anybody else that's in here getting buzzed up now. Yeah, that's the way to, that's the way to do it, man. I wish I could do that right now. Um, enjoy yourself. Be safe. You know, thanks, everybody. Uh, good luck on the GoPro. Um, and if anybody has any creative ideas on, on a giveaway or something we can do, let, like, let me know, man. I'd love to collaborate. Billy's, Billy always has ideas, too, of, of taking care of people and, and doing things for other people. And um, that's always, it's always fun. Get creative. Oh, yeah, Farmer. I, I didn't know if you were here earlier. I said that at the beginning of the stream, but... Yeah, a buddy of mine, 59 years old, man, heart attack, done. And uh, just in the last month or so, I've been working pretty close with him on, on a project and um, never never would have expected that. I was I was pretty pretty bent out of shape the other night. And, uh, you know, there's people that are really close to me or closer to me, you know, that I probably wouldn't feel as bad about. And this guy, just the way he was and what he did for people and um, the good conversations we had, uh he was really excited about this project we're working on and wanted to see it take off and wanted to see it go. And uh, if we do nothing else, we're going to try to make that project work in his memory because it's uh, it sucks. And it's not the same now. You know what I mean? It's just not the same uh, thing. And it was a surprise to everybody. And so got that's why I got to come back Sunday, do that. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Part of life, I guess. Part of life. But I think I'd feel better out of shape with any YouTube subscriber, anybody I know. I mean, like, you, you get to know people and, and it's just, you know, part of, part of life, I guess. But, uh, well, listen, I appreciate it. We did this for an hour and 20 minutes, which which I'm good with uh, for today. Sometimes we can talk longer. Uh, if you guys think anything else you want to, you know, questions, ask, learn, whatever, um, in the camera world or video stuff, let me know. Do my best to help out. And um, we'll come up with some creative stuff. In there, best friend got killed by a sniper. Yeah, no shit. I mean, it's 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 like the things that are out of control. You know what I mean? Out of your control that that suck. You know what I mean? It's who would have thought? Talked to him a couple hours before, you know, a day before. Worked with him, and people were just with him, and he walks out to the truck and done. So, I mean. It's, it's no fun, um, but we'll do what we can for his family and definitely going to be there. Uh, you know, there's going to be a, a, a big procession for him, I think, because of the industry he was in. I think a lot of people will come together for that. So I uh, definitely want to be a part of that. So cut the Florida trip to a day, get down, do what I got to do, come back. Um, maybe give an update tomorrow night. I got, I got to get more consistent here, so do the best I can. And we'll go from there. But I appreciate you joining. I'm going to roll. Got some things to button up. Uh, providing everything goes good tomorrow. Catch up with you guys later this weekend. Maybe I'll be able to do something from Florida tomorrow. Maybe that's something I should do. Go live from the phone or something. Show some warm air. Um, yeah. So, all right. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Good luck on the GoPro. For anybody that sees this after the stream or watches it afterwards, make sure you hit me up. Uh, on the subscription. I appreciate that. Uh, many blessings to all of you guys. Take care.